Right, just as we're recording it. <laughs> well, I'm not sure where that's doing it. Excuse me if I'm not showing you what's going on. But, uh, yeah, we're just uh, lubing the place up a bit. Yeah, I can see that it's going to need something. Right, so, and if I just put that in a bit further and then start. Okay, so here we have it working as we want it. This is obviously the output that's going to go into the generator. This is how the ring gear is going to get locked, right? And then we got the shaft, and this is the flywheel. This is the actual flywheel, okay, that's going on the engine. And there we have the whole thing set up, okay? We've got a uh, this is just a mock-up, basically, so that I can keep it steady, because it's going to be in something. And this shaft is too extended for the uh, <coughs> for the fastening on there. Basically, it bends it because of the weight. Now, it's obviously a little bit wobbly, but it's not too bad. That will probably move around inside the bearings, but I think once it's actually in, it should make it steady. Okay. And there we can see it. And that's how it will run on the real engine. I've got a little bit of a problem with the with the oil and the lubrication, so I might have to set something up to lubricate it. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it seems to. Uh, I think it's due to the fact I don't know, and it's obviously holding together, but it's due to the fact that basically we've got a uh, a shaft that's spinning around a stationary shaft. Okay, now it might not do that when it's in the real thing. You know, because this will be held in the gear of the uh, generator. And this will be locked too. But I started off by putting WD-40 on it. And obviously that that's too thin, basically, for this. It needs something a bit thicker, like the engine oil there. Okay, otherwise we're going to get that uh, thing happening. But this is obviously a free-running gear now. And the problem, of course, is that... <clears throat> it's uh, that's the problem basically it's a free running gear whereas when it's actually in the generator it won't be no, it'll be inside the generator so it, that will hold it as well and I'm pretty sure it's that that's causing the problem, I don't think it's anything else if I took this out and then span it let's see if it still does it no. reason for it to do that now, because the only reason why it does that is because you've got concentric shafts going at different speeds. Oh, it did do it. Oh, so it must be something else. I can't imagine what would be doing it though. Simply because that's a concentric shaft. Oh dear. That's a bit funny. It's locked. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the equivalent of... Um, Having a bearing malfunction, effectively. Yeah. So, it's interesting, that, and I don't know why it's happening. But uh, at the moment, we've got quite a lot of, you know, loose things here, you see. And so it, it's partly due to the fact that we've got lots of loose things. Yeah, whereas in a real gearbox, I'm guessing it won't do that. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to switch off now. And clean up as well because we've got oil everywhere. <laughs>